Hey guys, so today is my birthday. Um, I'm gonna head over to Sugarbush and go skiing a little bit. And then after that, head over to Waterbury and grab some lunch. And after that, maybe head back to Burlington and check out what's open. It's a Monday and it's during the pandemic, so don't know if too much is gonna be open, but we'll see what is. And uh, this is actually the new camera that I got yesterday, the Sony ZV-1. So let me know if you guys think the quality is better than the iPhone or the microphone is better. I have the little wind canceller on top of it. It looks like a little toupee for the camera, but uh, I don't know if it's doing anything. Hopefully it's working. Hopefully you guys can hear me a little bit clearer than the iPhone. The iPhone tends to pick up ambient noise from all around, whereas this is supposed to be a three-directional microphone. I say that like I know what I'm talking about, but I have no idea what any of that means. But anyway, let me know what you guys think, if it sounds better, if it looks better to you guys, and let's go have a good day. It's finally warming up. I know that 21 degrees does not sound that warm to most of you, but trust me, 21 degrees in Vermont is springtime, so I'm happy about it. So I made it here to Sugarbush. There's not too many people here actually, which is really nice. I thought it would be more crowded, especially with it being spring break and a lot of people not being in school or work right now or like doing everything remotely. But yeah, this is awesome. I should be able to get quite a few runs in. Uh, it's a gorgeous day. I mean, there's literally not even a single cloud in the sky. I did want to let you guys know if you're planning to come skiing, make sure that you check the website of whatever ski mountain you're going to, especially in Vermont. You do have to sign attestation forms saying that you did quarantine or you did get a negative COVID test after seven days in the state. So just keep that in mind. Also, they each have their own set of rules that you have to adhere to when visiting the mountains now. I can link sugar bushes down in the description below. But yeah, it's not super hard, easy to follow the rules. I thought about it and it's like, I would wear a face mask anyway in the winter time because my face gets cold and it's like 21 degrees out, but it is so nice out today. It's finally really warm. It's not super windy. So yeah, should be a great day on the slopes. So I am at the top of one of the lifts. Um, there's a few lifts that go off to like blue runs and black runs here, but you can access like blue, green, and black here. Like I said, it is a gorgeous day out and there's not too many people here. I mean, usually this would be packed, but lucked out today. If you're not used to East Coast skiing, it's a lot different than West Coast skiing. It's super icy here. It's not very powdery. And especially later on in the season, like now we're into March, um, it'll definitely be more ice and slush. So just expect that if you're coming to the East Coast to ski and you've never skied out here before, or if you're learning to ski, just know that it's gonna hurt a little bit more when you fall than learning to ski on the West Coast. But um, it's pretty fun because you can go a lot faster here than on the West Coast. But yeah, let's head down and uh, hopefully get some good runs in. Just heading up the lift. Um, just wanted to give you guys a better view of how empty it is. I think this is one of the intermediate runs and um, yeah, there's what, like four or five people on the entire thing. It's really nice. Also, the people here are really cool about social distancing. I was waiting in the lift line and nobody got too close to one another and everybody was okay with singles riding on the lift alone. So if that's something that concerns you, like going to a ski mountain, know that Sugarbush is pretty chill. All the people here are pretty cool with waiting their turn and uh, letting people be single riders if they want to. Something that I really love about Sugarbush and something that I think sets it apart from other Vermont ski resorts is the fact that all the slopes and all the runs are really wide, uh, which is great for really flying down the mountain or for taking your time and like carving big wide S's. I think that's a really great part of Trigger Bay. So this is a map of the resort. See, there's two different mountains that you can take the Slidebrook Express Quad over, which is really cool. I've already done the pushover over here and Sleeper Road. So I think next I'm gonna take a Super Bravo Express Quad up and maybe use some of those blues over on that side. Crowds are starting to pick up a little bit, but I mean, still, it's 
pretty empty here, which is really nice. And here we are at the top. Long way down. The lift to get up here, Heaven's Gate, took forever. It's an older lift, but the views up here are so worth it. I mean, just look. It's crazy. Here we go. Riding Jester all the way down. Hey guys, so I got off the mountain. It was great. Uh, the conditions were really perfect. It was still a little icy, of course. That's just what you get on the East Coast. But uh, there was really nobody out there. And the slopes here are so wide at Sugarbush that it was really nice just to be able to have the place to myself, really. That's what it felt like. And um, I ended up <laughs> going down an experts only slope, which I thought in North Carolina I did an experts only slope, so this must be no different. But let me tell you, experts only in North Carolina means something completely different than experts only in Vermont. So it was so steep and I just flew down it, but I survived and I didn't fall at all, which was nice because I think my pride would have been hurt more than my body because it was right underneath the lift. So everybody's watching people go down this slope and it doesn't look as steep as it is until you get up to it and you look down and you're like, oh my gosh, and you start going and you're like, oh, okay, I just fell down the mountain instead of slowly ski down. But it was great. And then the view from the top, it was just mind blowing. And the run Jester, which is a blue run and intermediate run, goes straight from the top all the way down to like the bottom of the mountain. That was probably my favorite run. It wasn't too steep, so it, my legs and my feet weren't killing me the whole time, but it was just so long and relaxing and the views the entire way down were incredible. So yeah, great day here at Sugarbush. Think I'm coming back tomorrow with Michael because he has the day off and he has a pass and he really wants to go. He's actually never been here, so it'll be fun to show him around and uh, take him on some of the slopes. Maybe I can convince him to go on that uh, Black Diamond the, that I went on, the experts only one. I don't know, it might take some convincing, but he can do it. So now I think I'll go to Waterbury and maybe grab some lunch. I'm not sure if the Prohibition Pig is open, the Pro Pig is a really famous restaurant. A lot of people come to Waterbury specifically to eat there. It has really good barbecue and I really love their mac and cheese. It's so good. And behind it, they actually have a brewery. And the brewery is really cool because like, if you don't want to eat at the restaurant, you can just hop into the brewery. They have tapas or quick bites and all their beer is made in house and it's usually pretty good. So yeah, I'm going to head over there, see if they're open, if not, I mean, I'll just head back to Burlington and see what I can find over there. Mondays are weird in Vermont. For some reason, like a lot of things are closed and I don't know if that's just because of COVID times or before it was like that. I can't remember it being like that, but that's how it is right now. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna head back to Waterbury and then if nothing's open there, head over to Burlington and see what we can find to eat. So unfortunately, like I thought, a Prohibition Pig is actually closed. It's not because it's Monday. Apparently they open at four, but they're only open for dinner right now. I'm not sure if that's a COVID thing or if that's how it always is. But instead, I came back toward Burlington. I stopped in Williston again at Best Buy because I forgot yesterday when I got this camera to get a like a stand for it. So like a little tripod and they have one that they specifically made for the camera so that I can like zoom in and zoom out. And it's really cool. It works as like a small selfie stick, like a little handheld one. And then it extends in the back so I can use it like a tripod too. So I'm going to run in and see if they have that. I think they do. I, I saw it yesterday, so hopefully it's still there. Then after that, maybe I'll go find something to eat. So let's go see what they have. You would think that after a year of all of this, I would remember my mask by now, but I just got out of the car and started heading up to walk in and was like, oh, forgetting something, it's my mask. Whatever, hopefully it'll be over soon. This is what I came for. It looks pretty good. Hopefully it works out. So this is it. It's pretty small, but it's like a perfect size to hold and uh, the back extends out so you can put it up like a little tripod. Like... Huh. 
Oh yeah, this is great. It has a button right on the front of it that I can press and hit record and I don't have to worry about trying to look at the screen and figure out, okay, is it recording? This is definitely worth the investment and it's the perfect size. It's a lot better than the Gorillapod I was using. Let me know if you guys also have trouble with these. I really hate it. It's just annoying when you're trying to balance it and put it up straight to like face you. These things are so difficult to all get in the same position and maybe it's just because I'm like OCD with it that I need it to be perfect but I'm glad that I don't have to use that anymore at least for when I'm using this camera. I'll still probably keep it for like if I'm using my iPhone for something. I feel like it might be useful then but I'm pretty happy with it. Now I'm gonna go get some food. I'll probably go just get a sandwich from a Campus Kitchen which is this small sandwich shop like right next to UVM. After that, I'm gonna head back home to wait for Michael to get off work at 4.30 and then he says he's gonna take me somewhere tonight for my birthday. He said it's a surprise so I don't know where he's taking me but I'm sure it'll be good. He always picks really good spots. We'll find out where that is when he gets home. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for all the birthday wishes yesterday. I really appreciated it. We went out with uh, some of Michael's friends and then we came back here to our place and we just had some cake and it was delicious. It was a carrot cake from a bakery downtown here in Burlington. And just wanted to say thank you, I appreciate it. I'm gonna work on uh, editing this video and then Michael is getting ready right now. I'm gonna head out and probably have a really nice day out on the slopes. So see you guys in the next video, bye.